Staying with the broader theme of big stories, this is Satyam under the hammer. But there's a twist to that tale as the board has decided to tweak the bidding process a bit. Now, why do they need to do that? Precisely what we asked Tuhina Pandey, who's on the Satyam beat. Tuhina, how do you interpret the tweaking of the bidding process? Uh, does that actually give some of the bidders more elbow room? Shelly, you said it. Tweaking around could also be a perception, and that's precisely what it is. No serious changes in the entire process, but definitely a message out there for the bidders who have actually gone out of the race, especially BK Modi, uh, the likes of we've also understood that Cognizant did not go through the due diligence process. So open invitation, guys. The due diligence is still on. If you want to join the race, you are more than, uh, more than invited. And that also raises the question, is that because there are not enough bidders in the race? So on the whole, it is a few clarifications and not really a change in the entire bidding process or an attempt clearly by the uh, board to say, uh, vindicate themselves out of saying that, you know, we are pretty transparent and we, we want to run this process for everyone who is interested. Also, one particular thing which is very clear from what has come out today is that what will matter in this bidding process here on are the price tags. So whoever pays higher for Satyam, uh, gets to go along with Satyam and back that company, uh, company's assets. Uh, Tohina, of course, it's interesting. You mentioned that uh, certain bidders might come back into the fray. I know we have reactions which we'll quickly uh, talk about in a bit. But very quickly, what does this do to the timelines of the entire process? Because as we see, uh, as the days keep progressing, the margins keep shrinking. You have uh, no big clients coming on board as well. So that uncertainty keeps hanging in the air. Right, Siddharth, it is a bit of a labor pain, if you will, but obviously uh, the board is trying its best to keep, uh, you know, a track on track of the date lines that they have really set out. So 9th April is still the uh, uh, date that they are maintaining will be the cutoff for the bidders to go ahead and submit their financial and technical bids. 15th of April is when we will know uh, there is a successful bidder and who it is. Obviously, if it is too close a shave between two bidders or more, uh, you know, just about their financial bids are uh, within 10% of each other, then it's a round two, and that will be a, a open uh, auction, obviously. So uh, the deadlines, they are still trying to meet. Siddharth? 